Okay, welcome everyone to tonight's adaptive experience wrap up call. It is November 24th and uh, we've had a great week in experiencing uh, adaptive soft gels and adaptive essential oil. And I'm excited to get to hear from each of you guys tonight and how, um, what your experience has been and, and we'll just go from there. So I, what I wanna know is first and foremost is what was your experience? Now, if you wanna unmute yourself or if you're not, if you're already unmuted, if you wanna just chime in here and give a brief, you know, 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds of what your experience was this week, I'd love to hear you share. Do you want me to go? Sure. Okay. Go um, so I have actually been able to sleep like a lot better. Um, I don't know. I, I, at first I was like skeptical and I didn't know. And then like, I tried it by like the third night I was sleeping without even like waking up at all. And just like all over, like my anxiety, even my therapist, when I talked to her tonight, she was like, you seem so calm and like a lot calmer than I've like heard you speak and talk for in like a while or ever actually um wow. so like I'm definitely going to continue using it and I, I'm like looking forward to using more of the products too oh my goodness that is so awesome like that deserves wow, applause I'm so happy. that is like <laughs> total celebration is it not it is it definitely oh. is oh that makes me so happy to hear it. yay so, you know, you just summed that up pretty much in a couple of sentences, but when, when you talk about that, remember how last week we talked about on a rating your scale on self on a scale of one to 10. And if we yeah. can just move that needle up a couple of notches, what might that do for your life? What do you think that just that alone, when you say this is the most calm you've ever been and the most sleep that you're getting, what kind of things do you see that affecting in your life? Um, it definitely helps with my irritability and like mood swings. Um, obviously I'm not perfect, I'm human, but um, my, like, I think my score was like pretty low last week and like this week it's definitely at least at like an eight. Okay, so is that on, would you say that for, would you say your energy levels are up because you're getting more sleep at all? Or what, be, just let's talk about your sleep. If you've gotten more sleep, what does that, your day look like different the next day? Oh, I can definitely wake up a lot easier. That's for sure. And that's something I've struggled with since like middle school is like, so like almost like 16 years now. Um, and it's just like, overall, just, I'm like happy to be up and stuff. And usually I'm like dreading it and I'm tired all day. And like, I really haven't felt that feeling much. Wow. Oh my goodness. That makes me so happy to hear. Thank you so much for sharing, B. Thank you. Um, okay. Who else wants to share what their experience was like this week? And there's no wrong answer, you know, even if it wasn't like a massive, like profound effect that you had, I still want to hear. I can share. Okay. Um, I had a strange week in some ways, not what I expected anyway. And whether it was this or not, um, I almost felt like I was emotionally detoxing. I sort of started out rough at the beginning of the week and then two on the third day, trying to look, I did keep notes. Um, I almost crashed. <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't know if it was, I was fighting a virus or, or, you know, something, or it just, I needed that time to cry it out get it out, like everything had to go and purge it out of my system. You know, I was tired, I was crying, and, you know, the whole package or the lack of package, whatever. Um, so that was an interesting experience for me and certainly things have really come up from that, um, thankfully. <laughs> so it was, um, it was interesting to be tracking through all of this you know, and sort of paying attention to myself. And I think I wrote it on Facebook today, but I'm really thankful to have spent this week paying attention to myself. I think it was what I needed now. You know, I'm home with my kids. I, my, I don't have a job during the pandemic because I work in daycares and I can't, I float between daycares and I can't do that. 
Um, so I've had to sort of reimagine myself, you know, like sitting here and being on call for my kids. I love my kids, but it's not personally rewarding in that way. So I think I needed that reset and to really focus on myself. And I, um, you know, I made re a contact with my pottery studio again and asked her to fire some pieces I've made during this that have just been sitting on a shelf. So that really brought me a lot of joy. Yay. <laughs> um, and I'll be able to gift them, which will also bring me joy for the holidays. So um, I just picked one up. It's oh. not, it's not finished. It's, it needs to be glazed and whatnot, but um, so that's, that's my story. I don't know that it's a linear or straight progress, but you know, things never are. Oh my gosh. I love what you shared. And I love that, it, that everybody's experience is a little bit different. And um, definitely the essential oils have an, an emotional component and they have that mm -hmm. ability to bring stuff up, which quite often we want to avoid, right? So whatever was meant to work for you best, whatever was the most priority for your body is what people are gonna typically experience. And um, so to be able to have that kind of an emotional release, oh my gosh, that to me is huge. And do you feel, like, I'm just wondering, do you feel a lot lighter because of that? I was just going to say that same word. It's exactly, I mean, I feel like if I stepped on the scale, I'd be lighter. I still have the pandemic pounds. That didn't happen, but I do, maybe I won't put them on anymore so fast because I do feel um, a lot lighter. Yeah. I mean, I was, I don't know. It's almost like when you get gleeful, gleeful over the little things, like I was driving to pick this up tonight just before now and, you know, people have Christmas lights out and I was... <laughs> I just was able to feel that joy over such a relatively little thing, but um, I think it's because I am feeling lighter after that release. Oh my gosh. Thanks. You guys, is that not so awesome? I mean, you think about the definition of joy versus happy and joy is just all encompassing. It is, it's a step up, isn't it? And I'm feeling that joy right now, just as, as I imagined you driving in the car just receiving those lights as joyful, you know? And wow, if we can, if we can go about our life experiencing joy, I don't, no matter what's going on, I don't know what else is better than that, you know? So thank you so much, Jillian, for sharing that. That's powerful. What, um, what can you see your life being like if you continued to use this adaptive? This is just one week, right? And if you imagine just the powerful experience that you've had, and I'm talking to Jillian right now as I ask this, um, what do you see, what would that be like if you can kind of continue to stay in that place of joy? And even like this, right? But knowing mm -hmm that at moments you can have that emotional release and be able to step into that joy as a result of it. What, what does that look like a month from now in your life coming from that place? You know, I think I've been sitting on a edge of something for a while now. Um, I have found this passion in the pottery. I have, you know, I've been working my previous job that's now ended, but does, which I miss, I miss, I get to work with kids. I get to see their joy and everything else, but I don't know that it's what I want to be when I grow up entirely, like to use a silly expression. So I feel like I've been sitting there with what's next, what's next, what's next. And um, that's what I'm hoping that I can continue to sit with it and find what's next. And, you know, and, and not let the anxiety get in the way of taking those steps. Like, you know, I could, make a big, take a big step and it could be a mistake, but that's okay because I tried it. Yes. Yes. I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing. Thanks. Appreciate it. So Thanks much. for running this. Yes, of course. My pleasure. You guys have been such a joyful group for me to be able to be a part of. I was uh, telling that on a call that Eileen and Melody were on earlier today. I said, you guys, this adaptive group that I got on with last week, just felt so emotional with you guys and you guys are just powerful and I know that you guys are here for a reason um welcome Robin 
sorry, oh. Robin, I didn't know that you were trying to get on. It's kind yeah, of weird. Go ahead. Robin's waiting to get in. I know. I was trying to make sure everyone else was on, and then I couldn't get on. <laughs> yeah. Um, Glad you made it, D. <laughs> okay. Thank you for helping me. Hi, Robin. <laughs> so, um, all right, Kate. How would you like to share what your experience? Yeah, so oh, it just happened. Am I? Can you guys still see me? Yep. See so you. You can see me, but my uh, did my my but my screen share stop. I see your desktop yeah. now instead yeah. of the no, that's presentation. Awesome. Isn't, that, isn't that great? Okay, well let's go here. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So at first, um, like with everything in life, like things were just so much that I knew like, you know, taking an oil, like it was going to be helpful. Um, but it wasn't until a couple of days in where like, I finally was able to like take the time to like sit and like be with myself and just decompress that like the oils like really started to work right I was try I tr I tried using it during the day when I would get stressed out and I was falling asleep at work and I'm like this isn't this isn't gonna any good like and then the suggestion of using some citrus or peppermint and then like at work like I'm not wanting to throw my computer out the window you know like I I do transcription for a living for a lawyer and that's like medical terminology and like I'm not getting frustrated like by today my boss was like you seem really happy and I'm like I feel really happy like I'm getting I even noticed night. your mood is happier just saying yeah, yeah like to my I'm eyes. getting <laughs> I'm getting like I'm getting restful sleep at night it's not just like sleep where I'm tossing and turning and I wake up in the morning and like I know I didn't really sleep um so like I'm not short-tempered like my fuse isn't like super short like I haven't blown up on anybody <clears throat> for a couple of days you know, I have so much more tolerance when it comes to a two and a half year old and like her meltdowns, like they don't dictate my meltdowns anymore. And like, that's been like such a huge blessing is like being able to just sit and like enjoy, enjoy time and not like always feel like I need to be like in a rush to like get things done and over with because like I'm so anxious and I have so much going on when really like if I were to have slowed down before, like I probably wouldn't have been so high up on my levels. But like today, like I woke up and like my anxiety's at like a four, right? And it's the lowest it's been in weeks. Like I've had that impending doom, like something's gonna go wrong, pit in my stomach for weeks. Um, and like, I'm more open, like I, wasn't talking about my feelings to anybody I was like it's all on me but like this has given me the ability to like calm down enough to be able to like express myself and like really be like honest and upfront about exactly where I'm at and um like I feel healthier you know yeah it's like not being like not sleeping really like I felt so run down like I feel so much healthier now like, not that I can go run, a, like, a marathon because I'm not, like, healthy, but, <laughs> but, like, I don't have, like, the aches and the pains and, like, I just know, like, I'm rested and I'm not, like, all, like, tight and, like, curled up in a ball and uh, I don't know. I just, I feel better. Oh, I feel so much better. Holy cow, I have chills. You guys have chills? Like, was that that <laughs> powerful 
experience that she just had, every single one of them are a little bit different, aren't they? Using the same oil, the same product. Um, one of the things that, that I kept feeling as you were talking, uh, Kate, was just complete presence, being present. You said slowing down and just being, not feeling the anxiety, right? The anxiousness. And it said that when we get depressed, it's because we're focused on the past. And if we're feeling anxious, it's because we're focused on the future. And, but when we can actually sit and be present, we slow down a little bit, our body and our nervous system can calm down and we can actually be way more productive because of the state of being that our whole nervous system is in, right? And so yeah, I love, I love that you're being way more present. And you said as a result of that, you know, you're sleeping better, your stress levels are are lower than they've been in weeks. Your um, your body's feeling better, right? Not hurting so bad. Like that's amazing. Yeah. And it feels amazing to know like I'm exactly where my feet are today which I haven't been for a long time. So like my head is exactly where my feet are and it feels really good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. You ladies are amazing. I am so grateful that you shared this with me today. Um, I'm so grateful that you shared this with all of us. And I want you to just ponder, and maybe even this evening, if you get a chance to write either tonight or tomorrow, the best time to write is right after you've kind of been able to express some emotion or feel some emotion and just kind of get it out. Um, because it helps anchor that in, right? It still helps keep that process going for you. And as you, as you continue to move forward over the next few days, notice, and part of, Part of being aware uh, is being present of what's going on with your body, what's going on with your mood. You said you're feeling happier, right? Like, is it crazy that we can go in from one week to the next and feel like that much difference and the world is still going on outside of us that's the same? Shows how much when we take control of our health and wellness, how much better we can feel, which has a direct effect on everyone around us. And you guys have mentioned that you've seen that. You've seen that in each other, right? I can tell this week that you guys are lighter. It's just that energetic. As Julia was, Julia was saying, my, my skill might be the same, but man, I feel like I'm to so much lighter. Um, I remember when I went through a divorce and I had just been carrying this energetic weight and sorrow for so long. And suddenly after I was able to move through that and move through the grief and the despair and the sorrow and all that, all of a sudden I had people start seeing me and they were like, you've lost weight. And I'm like, nope, I haven't. <laughs> I sure haven't, you know, on the scale, it doesn't show I've lost weight, but that energy is heavy, right? And so once that's released, man, it just leaves room for so much. Tapping into your passions, things that maybe you haven't done that, you know, unleft projects or hobbies. There's so much joy that comes in all this. So you guys have got me passion, passionate talking about this. Thank you so much. Um, how would you like, um, these are a couple of testimonials, other testimonials we've heard um, throughout the challenge. Another one, rocking it, loving it. It's helped me tons with my anxiety. Another girl, I have known this girl for several years and never once has she told me she had insomnia. And I gave her the adaptive to try and the, I checked on her the next morning. She goes, um, first I have insomnia, like legit insomnia and I slept eight hours. And I was like, wow, I didn't know you had that, you know? And so, and then the next testimonial is about a girl who says that um, she takes a bath every night um, but she usually will stay in the tub for about an hour trying to unwind before bed. And she just, she had taken it right before she got in the tub, but she couldn't hardly stay in the tub any past 30 minutes because she was starting to fall asleep. So lots of different experiences, but lots of great testimonials. And I'm just grateful for each one. So I usually like to encourage people 
to take a look at, well, where do you go from here, right? A lot of times when we are, are doing something with a group or a few people, it helps keep us going. It helps us be aware. It helps us document our, our um, tracking, you know, or we, dra we track our results. And we don't want you to stop. We don't want you to stop continuing to progress. We want you to keep moving forward. So um, asking yourself these questions, would it benefit me to, to continue using the adaptive products on a daily basis? Would you guys say that it probably would? Yeah, I would say so. I, for me personally, I use them regularly every day. Um, do I need help with my emotional well being? I know I do. Um, do I need to find ways to connect with God, myself, or others? Do I need to discuss my wellness goals with somebody else, with a wellness advocate or any of my, my team or team leader, whoever it may be, and help you know what your next steps are? So it's good to have these thoughts, be aware, decide what that looks like for you, and then take those necessary steps, just like you took this very first step as a way to help bless your life. You can continue to take these steps and just think how much better your life will continue to be in your relationships, in your finances, in your physical health, um, in your mind, right? Your mental capacity and your emotions. Think about how much all of those are affected as you continue to move forward. Um, if you haven't already purchased, I wanted to show you this. This is what we call the adaptive system. And um, this is, includes the three adaptive oil or products that we have currently. The adaptive oil, which is straight oil, 15 milliliter. It's 250 drops, which is about 250 servings, give or take a little. Um, the adaptive soft gels or capsules and the adaptive roll-on. Now I love to keep the roll-on in my purse because it's handy and it's pre-diluted and I sit and I put it on my wrist or over my heart throughout the day. And I add, like, like you were mentioning earlier, you know, you're kind of starting to feel a little bit tired taking it the other day. That's why we add a citrus oil with it. You can add just a little bit of adaptive and then add the citrus or peppermint. It'll help keep you awake while still keeping you calm. Yeah, Eileen. I just wanted, I didn't know, Crystal, if you had your PowerPoint, or if you thought you had your PowerPoint up, but I don't see it. Oh. It's there. I can see it. If you swipe yeah. over to the left, it's there if you're on a phone. Okay, so I'm on my computer. It just kind if of- If you need to slide the picture over, the pictures of us over, yeah. because we can see it. Oh, you know what? Maybe a different view. I'm so sorry. I, I just didn't want people to be missing it. Oh, there we go. So I just changed the view to side by side instead of standard view. And now I can oh. see that. Oh, good. Okay. Right. I don't want you to miss it All either. Right. So good to know. Okay. So anyway, if, if you haven't already purchased these, this is um, $82. Would you guys say that that's worth it to have that on hand? That's pretty dang worth it, isn't it? I think it's worth it. Now, one of the really cool things that doTERRA, if you're not familiar yet, um, that they just released in September are... They have three different subscription boxes, monthly subscription boxes, which is awesome. We love these so much. And this one is the Mind and Mood Wellness Kit. And as you see this here, okay, this is only $75 for this kit. But um, if you um, have a wholesale account, then you can go in and um, add, type in Mind and Mood Wellness in the search bar. And it will pull it up and you can click to subscribe to it. And what it will do is it, it will break down these products for three months. So it helps you be able to afford um, the products that will help your mind and your mood over a three month period of time. It's a great way of kind of having this little payment plan is kind of what I, the way I see it, right? Breaking it up into small, smaller orders. So this shows you what you'll get in each of the months. If you choose this subscription box, it will send you the first month. As you can see, the capsules, adaptive capsules, balanced blend, which is a very grounding blend for your mood. I love it. It's one of my most favorites that I've always used. The adaptive touch, which is the roller. And then they give you this cute little bag with the 
um, a balance deodorant. So a couple of these things you get only, you can only get through the subscription um, kit. And then what, if you don't touch it, if you don't go in and, and, and you can go in and manage it and you can decide you wanna cancel if you want, or you can just leave it. And if you leave it the month two, they'll send you the adaptive oil, which is the 15 milliliters, the wild orange. Again, we talked about using citrus oils to keep your mood up, lifted, right? And lavender touch, which is another great one to help with sleep or calming, um, anything skin related. Black spruce, again, very grounding oil. And then um, they give you bath salts in that one. Again, we can't get those, we can't just order those. And then month three, if you, get, if you went ahead to month three, you get a lavender essential oil, it's a 15 milliliter. So it's great because you can put that into a diffuser. Um, cedar wood, which again is very, it's a woody oil. Any of the wooded oils are gonna be very grounding, very centering, very stabilizing. Adaptive spray, which absolutely love. Serenity spray, I can't tell you how much people love these two sprays. It's just a little spray that you can spritz your pillow with or even yourself to help you with calming. Citrus bliss oil, again, mood uplifting. That one to me is like a dreamsicle, uh, like a, you know, the little orange dreamsicles you get at the store, they smell so good. Um, balance touch, so balance oil that's in a roller bottle, very convenient. And then a mini unscented body butter. Right now you can't get body butter at doTERRA like, like we used to. And um, it's so hydrating for the body, it's amazing. So this is a great option that will kind of help you get um, a little bit each month to help keep your mind and mood um, stabilized. Now here's another option that I wanna share with you. And I love these. This is our emotional aromatherapy system. This comes with six oils. We um, have them in the oil form or in the roller bottle form. Um, each of these oils are designed to help either counteract some kind of negative emotion and then also ignite or promote other types of positive emotions. So you'll, you'll see here, for example, if you feel like you're lacking motivation or energy, like, or you know, you're just lacking passion for life, nothing really excites you anymore. Passion and motivate would be a great one to put on, to you utilize, to put in a diffuser, to use just like you did the adaptive, right? Um, helps uh, encourage you to be more playful, helps you so you don't feel so bored, helps increase your, you know, um, use your creativity and imagination. Get outside of being just stuck, being bored in, in life or with your lack of having any kind of hobbies or interests. We need that. We need to be able to reignite that passion for life. Um, so you'll notice here, each one of them have the name of the oil. That means they're a blend of multiple oils put together that can together ha have been shown to help in those kind of emotions. So the passion is an inspiring blend, helps you to feel excited and passionate, motivate, helps you to feel more courage and confident and help you to counteract doubt, forgive, helps you to let go of anger and guilt and um, help you to be able to feel more contentment and being able to let things go. I love to put this one on my stomach because quite often that's where I hold on to things, right? And physically, that's where we can hold on to things, especially, and it helps us to kind of start helping things move and let go and release. Uh, peace, reassuring one, totally counteracts anxious and fearful emotions. People that are in high, high fear, peace is so, so helpful. Um, really good one for kids to use, for sure. Now, cheer. This is the one I mentioned that I love to use in conjunction with adaptive. Um, my best friend, by far, loves this oil. It's her favorite. She likes to put it right here um, at the bottom of her neck. And her, after she started using this regularly, her daughter, who is, is an adult, started saying to her, you seem to be happier. You seem to be a lot happier and a lot more um, positive lately. <laughs> and it does. It, it helps you feel more happy and more positive and more optimistic. And then last but not least, console. This one is, when if you're experiencing grief, 
or sadness, sorrow, any type of loss. We've had people that have used this, whether they're um, uh, working through the like a death or a divorce or moving, uh, moving, or even just, um, uh, you know, even stuff with jobs like that. We've had a lot of that this year where there's been job loss, right? Um, but a lot of different types of, of ways that that can show up. Console, I, as I say, typically is it's like you put it on and you feel like you've just had this warm hug given to you and you're able just to feel that comfort that everything's going to be okay. So these are the emotion oils. Uh, the, for the kit, it's 159 wholesale. And then I just wanted to end here with this quote by Gandhi. It says, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. And I think maybe there's a chance that some of you or all of you might have experienced some of that this week where you might notice that your thoughts started to shift a little bit, right? From negative to some positive that automatically our thoughts have a direct effect on what we say that then has a very direct effect on what we do. And when we can bring those all together, that's when you're in a place of harmony. It's awesome, isn't it? So I just wanted to see if there's any other questions that you guys had or anything else that anyone else wanted to share before we end tonight. No? I, I heard from someone today who who did the last um, study with us, and uh, she was saying, um, I, "I am really loving the adaptive, and that hers is almost gone." Um, she said she carries it with her everywhere, and she said maybe this is the path to getting off my anti-anxiety medication. I really want to go more natural. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Robin. Again, another testimonial, right? Can I say something? Yes, please. Well, I just thank you and honor all of you for letting me join into this um, this call today. I, um, I haven't been, I, I've kind of popped in the group a little bit and paid attention, but I tell you what, before, um, the, a few months ago, I, I it wasn't my favorite oil. I, I, I wasn't so much into the floral fragrances. I, I prefer citrus and cinnamon and woodsy. That's just my palette for smell. And um, I, I've gone through some things um, and I tell you what, it's my new favorite oil. I, I just, I crave it, I crave it. And I just really appreciate, uh, it, it's so interesting to me how, how we can change and process and experience things and how oils help us do that help us release like I, I'm, I'm looking to see I can't remember your name I don't see you on the screen um shoot I, I can't I'm in the wrong view um how you talked about let's see where where are you Jillian how you talked about um just all of a sudden you felt like you could just let some things go you know that was you right was you talking about that? And I, and I, I, I've had that experience, how oils, how I, when I first started using them, I didn't realize um, that they had that ability to help me process and release. And it's, it's a beautiful experience. And you really do feel lighter afterwards. And, and so I'm just excited for all of you guys. I really am. Oils are awesome. Thanks, Crystal, for facilitating this. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You're so welcome, you guys. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. And thank you for those who have shared, right? For sharing your own experiences. And for those that shared the oils, I, are you so grateful that somebody shared Adaptive with you? So here's my invitation to you. If this was powerful for you, see if you can just share this with one person, right? We're going we're gonna to hold an adaptive experience every month because we want to be consistently helping people help uh, relieve their stress and anxiousness that they've got going on. So um, uh, talk to Robin or Eileen. They know how to, uh, how to help you 
in being able to share that with someone. But uh, think of somebody that you know could be blessed by having an adaptive experience week. Okay. And then let's get them into the one in December. Uh, so, okay. Well, you guys, so great to meet you. I look forward to seeing you on, on additional uh, Zoom classes. And I look forward to seeing you in the challenge next month. So I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and um, continued joy and happiness as you move forward on your journey. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thank you. Guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You too.